What is up you guys, my name is Marcellus and today I'm going to bring you a review on the reboot of the JoJo series in 2012. It is uh, 26 episodes and it left off wrapping up part 2 and part 2 is called the Battle Tendency. So today I'll be bringing you uh, a plot rundown, what I liked about the series and what I didn't like about the series. So basically part 1 is revolved around Dio Brando, adopt the child of the Joestar family and Jonathan Joestar. Uh, they clash, Dio eventually becomes a mortal vampire who is defeated, uh, so it seems in part one, and Jonathan is killed off and his wife is left a widow with a baby that she found on board of the ship. Uh, leading up to part two, Jonathan's wife is now a grandmother uh, to Joseph Josar, and Joseph is 18 years old. Uh, he knows nothing of the Ripple, but he knows of the fight between his father, I mean, well, his grandfather, and Dio Brando. So, after that, he gets exposed to the Ripple, and then the supernatural life uh, with uh, Straits and um, Santana. And Santana leads us off to uh, the, the people that created the Stone Mask, um, the Three Pillar Men. And the three pillar men are ACDC, Cars, and Wham, Wham. Uh, I was about to call them Wham, but uh, Wham, yeah. And that whole situation leads us to the same family that wanted to kill the Stone Mask in part one, and that is the Zappelli family. Caesar Zappelli meets John, I mean Joseph Joestar, and they become pretty much like brothers. They train together for three weeks in uh, Venice or whatever in Rome. And you know to boost up their uh, their ripple powers because in three weeks, uh, Caesar Zappelli and Joseph Joestar would have to go against the Pillar Man, who basically created the the Stone Mask and were pretty much immortals that have lived for ten thousand years. So eventually, you know Joseph wins uh, two fights. He kills ACDC and Wham, and Caesar Zappelli is killed in the process. And pretty much part two revolves around the three things, the stone mask, uh, the three pillar men, and the fate of the Joestar family. And I, it's kind of sad to see that uh, Joseph had to lose Caesar because that the fate of the family is so sad, man. Like everybody they come close to is they're killed off or, you know, they live short lives and, you know, they're not really, they don't really get to enjoy things. I, I don't know how old Jonathan was when he died, but if the series had gone into the tragic uh, um, direction Joseph would have died at 19 years old and he was never married uh, but eventually you know he's not killed off by cars cars are sent into space and Joseph survives um, and he's definitely my favorite character out of the whole series Joseph because he brings a sense to uh, comedy and a sense of you know humor to the show and you know he also incorporates variation of ripple techniques where uh, Jonathan, I know it was just starting off with the Ripple and everything like that, but everything that Joseph has is incorporated to the Ripple, and I also like the fact of when he's, uh, you know he's going to win when he uh, predicts what his enemy is going to say, and he did that with Cars, and he did that with Wham, and he did that with ACDC, you know, it was pretty enjoyable to see that happen, so Joseph was definitely my favorite character out of the whole series, my second favorite character would have to be Dio Brando, Dio Brando was just a fucking beast, uh, so yeah, episode 26 is the end of part 2, it's called The Battle Tendency, and it wraps up the whole story of Joseph, you know, uh, it shows him being an old man traveling to Japan to see his daughter, and uh, that's been there for 20 years I believe, and he says that his grandson wouldn't even know this. My thing is, in the end of episode 26, very end, uh, it shows uh, uh, a group of, you know, adventurers, or you know, pretty much pirates, not pirates, but you know, people sea hunting or for treasure and shit like that uh pulling up a uh, box called you know deal the same one that arena was sent off in so after that it shows a man in a jail cell with a hat that looks like the next jojo so is that john i mean joseph's grandson uh i'm confused but uh yeah i'm i really did like this series hopefully the anime part three because if not i'll have to go read the manga for part three um, and I don't know if I'll read past that. I'll probably read part four. If I get hooked by then, then I'll read the whole thing. But I, I believe it's nine parts right now. Um, the, the thing that really grabbed me in about the anime is the fate of the Joestar family. You know, it, it was so sad to see Caesar die and Will die and uh, all these Apelles die because of the stone mask. And that, that tied them into the Joestar's family life. You know, 
Jonathan, Jonathan's dad died uh, from the hand of the kid he loved as another son. Joe, Jonathan died before he even got to enjoy his life with his wife, Arina. Uh, you know, fucking George died. I believe that's uh, Joseph's dad's name without even knowing the ripple uh, and died serving his country. Uh, and Jonathan was on the brink. I mean, Joseph was on the brink of death before he even got to enjoy life. But, you know, that that's what really grabbed me in because after all that, the Joseph... Uh, after all that, the Joestar family was still, you know, not an evil family, you know, they still represented good, uh, you know, Jonathan's dad was good, Jonathan was good when he, uh, you know, admitted Dio to be one of his closest friends, George was good for, you know, serving his country, still like that, and, you know, it was kind of tragic because Joseph grew up knowing that, uh, his parents, both of his parents was dead, actually when he had another parent in Rome, Lisa Lisa, but, uh, yeah, that's what really grabbed me in, the tragic part. Uh, and the action brought me in. But it got kind of gay around part two. You know, they started wearing skin-tight shirts and uh, shit like that. Like the shit I did in the beginning of this video. But, uh, yeah, it's all good. Hopefully, the anime part three. Leave your comments down below what you thought about JoJo's Bizarre Adventure 2012 series. Should I watch the OVA? Should I watch the old stuff? Leave a comment down below. I'm very intrigued to how stands will come into play in part three and when Dio Brando comes back. And like the video if you enjoyed it, and if you haven't subscribed, subscribe and I'll see you guys later.